Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Bell SRT helmet available at RevZilla.com. So this helmet is going to replace the Vortex within Bell's line, and the SRT is now gonna sit above the qualifier as their entry-level Snell helmet within the Bell family. Because if you're looking at the qualifier, you know that that is an ECE helmet, is a little bit more affordable than what you're getting with the SRT, but bumping up to the SRT is gonna give you a fiberglass shell and that DOT Snell rating. Now, you'll also notice that there are gonna be three shell sizes with this helmet, and the breakdown for those will fall between the extra small up to the small, the second shell size will be the medium to the large, and then large up to 3XL will be the third shell size. We threw this on the scale on a medium, it came at three pounds, seven ounces, and it does have an intermediate oval head shape. So a little bit longer front to back, a little bit narrower down the side of the head, and it is gonna work for the majority of you riders out there in the American market. So just taking a look at what you're getting with this, the main thing that's gonna be the change is you are now gonna get the Panavision face shield. And this face shield is coming directly off of the Bell Star line of helmets. Really, it's a great optical view, flat shield with this, so you don't really get any distortion. The one thing to note is even though it looks like you might have the pin lock on this, that is not gonna be pin lock included. This is actually the little um, guide for the face shield for opening and closing it. You will have the availability to upgrade if you want. So with the Panavision, you can go with the pin lock ready face shield. You can go with the Pro Tint, which is a transition style face shield, or you can go with any variety of tinted options. Now the one thing that I will say from the face shield, is that while you can crack this open for city driving, there is no real detents, so you're either gonna go closed or you're gonna go open. Um, those are really your two options um, with that little bit of a crack thrown in where you just wanna let a little bit of air through. The other thing to note too is while they call out three vents in the front, this front vent, which is actuated down here at the bottom, really just runs vents up into defogging the shield. So it's not direct vents into your face, it actually pushes air up into the channels that you're gonna see on the inside of the face shield. And then your vents up top will give you that direct airflow that you're looking for. The only nitpick that I really have with the vents on this is that they're a little bit hard to actuate, especially if you have gloves on. So I would recommend if you're riding on a warmer day, open those vents up ahead of time. That way you're not trying to fiddle with that while the helmet is on your head. One of the things that's pretty easy, however, is gonna be getting the face shield on and off. So you simply push the button in on the side and then just pull forward and it pops off. And then you just line that back up, push it in, and it slides right back into place. So if you've ever had a problem with using a face shield before, this one is relatively easy to operate. Push a button, pull out, and then just slide it right back in. Pulling around to the back, what you're gonna notice is you do have those two exhaust vents on the rear. Those are gonna be passive vents. There's no way to open or close those, but any of the airflow that you're gonna have pushing through from the front does have a place to escape on the back of the helmet. And like I said, this is gonna be that fiberglass shell. Let's take a look at the inside. So just flipping this around to the inside, the, uh, the chin curtain is fully removable and you're also gonna have removable cheek pads with this. The one thing to note is that as you pull these out, you're gonna have two different ways of getting this in. You're gonna have the snap design where you're gonna have two snaps and the, uh, the double D rings are actually gonna be strapped shut on this. So we'll pull that out, pull the cheek pad out. And in addition to the two snaps, you're gonna see on the inside of this, you're gonna have this liner part that's gonna go up inside the shell of the helmet. So a really nice secure fit, little pop of reflectivity on the bottom. And it's a simple cheek pad. There is gonna be a contour to it, but very simple cheek pad, comfortable to wear, not overly bulky, will wick sweat away, is antimicrobial. And then just pulling everything out. The one thing I do wanna show you, and you can see how hard these are to get out, you know, so there is a little bit of resistance there, which is actually nice, because they fit nice and secure. Sometimes with certain helmets, I go to pull the helmet off and the cheek pads kind of come with it. You're not gonna have that problem here. There are gonna be speaker cutaways on the inside too. So if you are using a comm system with this, really deep cutaways, so you're not gonna feel like the speakers are pushing up against your ears, which can be rather uncomfortable with certain helmets. And then last but not least, let's pull the liner out of this. And the one thing that I will note is that the liner on this doesn't have any points in the front that can kind of cause pressure against your forehead. You're gonna have this brow mount that goes up underneath the actual helmet shell itself, and you get a really comfortable experience from the helmet. So a little bit more thought out from what we'd see from some of the entry-level helmets from other manufacturers. Bell, again, has really been a leader in the way of entry-level, and you can see the channels cut out on the inside of this to help promote airflow, and that's really where those vents are gonna push through from the front and then carry that airflow back. Now, 
If you'd want to step up from this one, you'd be taking a look at something like the Qualifier MIPS DLX. That gets you, you know, a variety of additional features, which includes uh, the Pro Tint face shield. You're also getting the MIPS technology, which is that rotational impact protection. But really for riders that want to get into that Snell rating of safety, the SRT is the helmet to look at from Bell, coming in around that $200 price point. Now, if you have additional questions about this helmet, now would be the time to reach out to one of our gear geeks, 877-792-9455. We'll get you on the phone with them, or just shoot over an email to cs at I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Bell SRT helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.